Hi YouTube, this is Miro. Welcome to the 8th part of my series about ASP.NET Core 2. Now when you understand the basic of MVC, pipeline and routing, we can take a look at simple Hello World application. So let's start. For this I will create a new project, click on File, New Project and under Visual C Sharp .NET Core I will select ISP.NET Core web application and name it Hello World. Select .NET Core, ASP.NET Core 2 and web application with MVC and hit OK. Now we can check out the default settings within the startup class and the default routing is there. I will create new class within controller folder add a new item and I named this class hello controller hit add button and there is your first controller before you start you have to inherit from controller class so I will do it now and you have to import Microsoft ASP.NET Core MVC now I can paste a small method this is public method which returns i action result, takes zero parameters and returns content with hello controller. I will run the application with F5 and in order to reach our message we have to specify the root explicitly. So I will just hit hello and message and there is the message. The hello is name of the controller and message the name of the method. Now I will close it. Let's improve our method. So now I will add the argument to the message. I would like string and name. And now I want to print his name instead of controller. Curly brackets, name and dollar in front of the string. There you go. Save and hit F5. So now let's try it out. There is our hello message root and I make slash mirror. Enter. And it doesn't work. And that's because none of our default roots match this pattern. Hello message name. I will close the browser. If you can take a look on the default root, there is ID and this doesn't match our method. So let's improve this. I will go back to the hello controller. And now there are two options. You can take this like query parameter from your URL. We will take a look on this in action from query. In the order the speed is up, I will copy paste this method with the second solution. And now you can see the hello is for the hello controller. The message too is for the message and name within curly brackets is binding for the name. Now let's run the application one more time. And now let's check the from query first. Just hit slash hello message and your query will start with question mark and the name of the attribute. In this case, is it actually name? And equals and define your value. And there's the message. Now let's try out the second way. Replace this with two slash and alpha programming and hit enter. And there you go, through the second way. And this was routing and querying in action. In the next part, we will finally start with the library management application. We will design and implement the data structure. And this is everything for this part. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. And see you in the next part.